again to all the people out there that can't be at the gym. Normally this place is a little change of scenery here. Have a beautiful night of high <sighs> Closer. Just suck it back on here. Play. Right. Substitute teacher, retired fireman. Oh, that's the play button. Oh, that's not it. Down here. All righty. Aloha, everybody. It's me, about 20 midnight. KAKU 88.8. Why are you saying the radio? Because I'm at work. I'm in the radio station. Um, there's uh, Larry John in the background there. He, uh, This studio is a tribute to him. He was one of the main guys that helped uh, bring KAKU up. So, a little backstory of where I work. Um, it is adjacent with the Kaku Maui Community Media Center, and they do everything from TV to radio to uh, public speaking and stuff like that. And we do like recordings of store, like sports games, um, events on Maui, stuff like that, stuff at the musical and arts kind of show, stuff like that. I don't know. What they do here, so let's see if I can fix this up a little bit more. There in the background, Larry, Larry, you're in. You're on my YouTube channel, Midnight Movie House 07. This is where I got my start on this channel. So, yeah, gonna do another haul, and uh, this haul is very. Uh, I think it's like the last of the um, birthday purchases from my. Tax return. I did get a lot in the tax return. But I did I did give to my family, but uh, a lot of it uh, was purchased by me. In the past videos, uh, majority of the um, the haul was represented. Um, I did show you guys that still book edition of popcorn that I got from Synapse, which is pricey. Even for my taste, but the only way that I've gotten that copy, and now it sits nicely in the Blu-ray horror collection section, which is getting bigger. It's like a, it's I only have like a small shelf. I think I gotta figure out a way to like uh, boost up the shelves or make some other movies disappear from there, so I get more shelving. But uh, other than that, yeah, yeah. Since the um, and this is the last video. A lot of things has happened. Um, I have my celebration of my grandma, my grandpa, and my uncle's life because we finally um, buried their ashes in the family plot out in Haiku here on the island of Maui in Hawaii. Um, it's a celebration that was two years coming because my grandmother passed away right at the beginning of the pandemic. Right at the beginning of the lockdown, um, I think it was around April or something like that. It was like April or March. Uh, it was the last time I saw my grandma back in 2020. And uh, her illness, mm -hmm. while we were on lockdown, we didn't get to see her for like two or three weeks. And then we find out that her illness kind of was taking her away already, so. Uh, uh, it was great to see family come in and celebrate her life and talk stories about my grandma and stuff like that, so. Yeah. That was amazing. Now, the week after, or just four days after my grandma's funeral, I was still waiting. I was in contact with the seller on Amazon, and the guy was so cool. He was so cool. He he rebated me just a little bit, um, and he gifted me a horror collection. That I think I showed it off in the last one. Um, like 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 it's gonna appear in my hand. 
I, I showed it in the last one. He gave me a birthday gift, and uh, it, was, it was sweet of him. Awesome. But uh, the order that I originally had was this. This is what I was waiting for, and I finally got it. jumped out at you from behind the tree and grandpa got all excited and he shook his fist at me and he said boy you'll be damned to hell be damned to hell remember and that right over there you should really be scared. scared here johnny you're hey, still, still afraid. afraid stop it now i need it coming, coming to get you barbara It's a, it's a, it's used, but it works. It's perfect. It's got a remote control. A brand is an off brand QFX. But I've been watching a lot of stuff on this lately. I've been finally catching up on all the other DVDs that I purchased like five or seven years ago that I never watched. Um, but I have four promo or for display purposes right here promo. But uh, display purposes to show you guys how I put in a copy of Night of the Living Dead. Uh, this is what I'm selling. But um, I was like looking for what I'm going to show. Oh, my favorite movie, Night of the Living Dead. Uh, I have several copies of these on DVD. If you look on my YouTube channel, uh, right here on Midnight Movie House of Seven, there is a video set up on the front page. And it's basically the entire collection of my Night of the Living Dead. It's from VHS to Blu ray. Tons of versions, of different versions of DVD. Um, I am trying to get my hands on some other versions of Night of the Living Dead, some VHS versions, like the double VHS copy. That, why did I, why did, the double VHS copy, like I'll insert something here, yeah, right? I don't do that stuff anymore, I hate Final Cut. But yeah, this is so cool. Finally came in, this is the last of my birthday gifts to myself. And I've been watching some cool stuff. I've been checking out some more, uh, uh, some more independent horror flicks that I, I have. Some of the more gruesome ones that I have. So I can finally watch it at home without my family and just be in my room watching stuff like this, you know. And I have yet to go on, um, somewhere in my room, maybe storage is, uh, My girl's gone wild stuff, but <laughs> I'm not going to go looking for that anytime soon. The internet, that's what the internet is for. So let's get into the purchases. Um, some non-media stuff that I have. This is a new pop socket that I'm going to put on my phone after this video. As you can see, it's Nightmare Before Christmas. It's awesome. The pop socket I have on there is like an 80s kind of like Rubik's Cube design stuff, but I don't want that anymore. I got this in the mail from my friend, Angelisa. Thank you again. It's a great birthday gift to me. Um, the small poster right here with the Ladies of Horror. Got this little poster. Um, oh, I forget the name of the artist. What is the artist's name? Oh, my God. Hey, let me look at my phone. Where's my phone? Oh, I'm using it to record. Duh! But uh, this is an amazing artist on Facebook. I will leave a link below down there somewhere for um, this artist's Facebook page. He's an amazing artist. He does all these great horror art stuff, um, carnival stuff, all kinds of types, different types of movies. But the main one, and this one is, I don't know what the price was, but I am so I am so appreciative to Angelisa. She's a good friend on Facebook. I never met her in real life, but uh, she's an awesome friend, awesome woman. She's a survivor. She's a survivor, and she's uh, an amazing Facebook friend. She really is. But I got this one. Let's see here if you can tell already. And this is an amazing art artist version. Uh, Cover, uh, cover art, but uh, an amazing version of this uh, of Valak. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? 
I, I, I don't know where I'm going to put this though. I don't have room in my room for posters and take something down, but I don't want to take down my uh, Land of the Dead poster that stays up 24 7. I'm going to clean up my room probably. When, is, when, is, when, when I'm going to clean up my room, I don't know. <laughs> I put the media off to the side. I have some other stuff over here to show off as well. Let's see here. Let go of me. Let go of me. My friends are library. I went to my friends are library. It's an amazing um, used bookstore here on the island, which all the profits that they uh, take in from my friends are library goes right back into our public school system, a public public school, a public library system here on Maui. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, without them, there wouldn't be funds for um, uh, like events like how to learn ukulele. You can you can learn ukulele at the public library, stuff like that. Different types of events like that. So, I bought a bunch of comics for some Marvel stuff. This is all Marvel stuff. I got one DC one. Hold on, let me grab oh, one DC one. I have show up the DC. I got some comic books here. Comic book. Comic book. Everybody loves a little comic book. Comic books. <laughs> so this was in the white wrapper. You know those um um those Superman those wrapped in the the white uh, cover. It's uh, issue number five hundred. Back from the Dead, The Avengers of Superman. Boom, boom, boom. This was released back in 93. It was around the time when like Superman was dead and people was like, what happened to Superman? Uh, I have a whole bunch of those too. I think I even have an issue, not the exact issue of when Doomsday killed Superman. And, you know, that big battle that they have. But um, I have some of them. The Reign of the Superman stuff, I had that too. Uh, but for Marvel, I grabbed a whole bunch of different Marvel stuff that I've never seen before. Um, this is issue number three of Cyberspace 3000. You can see that right there. Is that, is that Silver Surfer? I think it's Silver Surfer. Uh, I can't make it the other guys. I think they're all X-Men or something like that. Cyberspace 3000 right there. Um, issue number one. Of Spider-Man Classics. It's the first Smash issue right there. Spider-Man is very big again, you know. With uh, No Way Home. I, I watched No Way Home. It was fun. I liked it. It was, it was interesting. Um, didn't realize that you had to wait like halfway through the movie to finally see uh, Tobey Maguire and uh, Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man to come out. But I got this one right here. That's cool. These are all 50 cents, by the way. 50 cents each, so I got eight. Uh, you add them up, I don't know. Uh, Marvel Age issue 29 with uh, the Vision and Scarlet Witch on the cover. Super cool. You got Hawkeye right there. Let's see other guys. I think that's OG Iron Man up there. It's OG Iron Man. Great. The Silver, the Silver, I don't know. The Gray Iron Man. Um, never heard of this one too. It's the March 1st issue of Gambit and the Externals. It's Gambit right there. Um, I think, isn't that Jubilee? I think it's Jubilee. I don't know. But anyways, got that one. That's some X-Men stuff. Another Marvel Age. It's a Marvel Age annual with a whole bunch of the superheroes some marvel superheroes on the cover i was like i gotta get this we got um we got black spider-man we got captain america the hulk uh storm nightcrawler we got the x-men up here here's uh it's wolverine right there wolverine uh fantastic four daredevil is in here uh God. so many to name so many to name so many. Is it Iron Man? There's Thor. I see Thor. And there's Iron Man. I think that's Iron Man. I don't know. But yeah. Fully Julio. 
We're gonna see if it has, if this has the um those little um in between pages of like there's like these freaking like I don't know what time is that? Oh, I got five more minutes to go. It's a Twenty minute video. Um, wait, is there no more? No more the bugger. No more this one. Wow. Okay. The backside too is like it's one of those like like like, like you, 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 turn, you turn this one around like this and then boom you got this one who's on this side this door is captain america it's og x-men and uh regular spider-man and og iron man the thing dr strange uh the human torch cool Julio. and then i got uh the fantastic four versus the fantastic four Issue 374 right here. What? You got uh you got Invisible Woman, Human Human Torch, the Thing, and Mr. Fantastic fighting the Hulk, Ghost Rider, and Spider-Man and Wolverine. What? Never saw that before. And speaking of Wolverine, this is the last one that I got. This is issue number one. Uh, I think it's all the ex extra editions, Enter Now Age of Apocalypse edition stuff. This is Weapon X. Nice, right? So that is the comic books that I got. Now on to the, me the media. Now on to the media. So Blu rays. I got this one from my friends at the library. It's The Nun. It's in perfect condition. I got it for three bucks. It's cheap. So at least on the island, you can find uh, cheap Blu-rays and stuff like that. Um, you can go to Goodwill and you can purchase like three and get one for free. But uh, I went to my friend's library, it's three bucks. I picked this one up, The Nun. Um, so I have The Conjuring, Conjuring 2, Conjuring 3. I have Anna, the Annabelle films on DVD. Uh, I got The Nun on Blu-ray. I got to watch this one again. I got to watch this one again. I only watched it once. Um, I have a Taysa, Taysa, Taysa Farmiga is in there. She's beautiful. I love her. She's gorgeous. I had got this in the mail. Night of the Animated Dead. It's an animated version of Night of the Living Dead. There are so many versions of Night of the Living Dead, but this is the most recent one. It's fully animated, so um, I am very uh, excited to check this one out and see how they made this one. That's cool. Um, I got this in the mail as well. This is an order, another eBay order here. Gwen, a Shutter original. Gwen. I've seen this like listed a lot. Like the DVD and the Blu-ray is listed a lot in eBay. I found one for cheap, about five bucks. So I picked this one up. Gwen, um, no longer available here on Maui as the Blu-ray version. You can't find it at all anywhere on Maui. Um, these ones are from this is these two are from uh, Walmart I believe Walmart yeah Walmart I got 32 Malasana Street it's a Spanish horror movie I believe that's weird it's a shutter exclusive as well I've been buying a lot of shutter stuff I don't have shutter but a lot of the I said start to find it online and here on Maui a lot of the show stuff are getting uh, sent into the more cheaper bargain bins, five dollar bin, or three seventy five bin. This one though, I paid full, I paid full price. This one was about five dollars. It's a five dollar bin, and this one was full price at um, nine bucks. It's a kind of a newer release. It's Werewolves Within with Sam Richardson and Milana Ventrup. I'm a fan of hers. Um, you know her. You know she's um she's in that commercial. I think is it T-Mobile? I mean, or some one of those or Sprint or something like that. It's one of those phone things. She's very popular from that. But uh, when I saw the trailer from this, I was like, oh, she's in it. I gotta get this movie. And you know she's an amazing actress. If you guys watch some of her YouTube stuff and. Other movies she was she she had a small little scene where she was attacked by ghosts, 
in Ghostbusters Answer the Call, which is the all-female Ghostbuster movie that came out. And uh, this is, uh, I don't know, it's the first uh, full feature that I, I'm going to see her in. And ready to check this one out. It's a whodunit mystery, one of those, like, ten little Indians thing, people trapped, and then who's the werewolf kind of deal. I think it was done by Hall like, there's a there's a sequel, Howling 5, I think. Is it the same thing? But uh, interested to check this one out. And she's a beautiful woman. You know, she's married. I think she's married. And she's in a relationship. But, you know, I was in Hollywood. And I was like, hey, how's it going? And be like, so I uh, saw so you in that horror movie. Awesome sauce. Uh, I got this one. This one has not been released on Disney Plus yet. Disney Plus. What's up? They have like Halloween Town, all the Halloween Towns. They have Can of Worms. They have Scream Team. They have Don't Look Under the Bed. They have Phantom of the Mall. No, Phantom of the Megaplex. That's right. But no Tower of Terror yet. I'm lucky to have found this one. And the disc is minty. It's amazing. So I added this one to my Disney collection now. It's, it's going to be boosted up now. I make room for this one. It's got to go right next to Hocus Pocus. The other movies I got from Naughty Friends of the Library. I got Dark Tales of Japan. It's an anthology horror series with like all Japanese act, uh, directors making like small little versions of Ringu or The Grudge or something like that. I got this action film called Vanquisher. Uh, made by the same company that did uh, Ongbok, The Protector, Born to Fight. So, guaranteed there's going to be some ass-kicking ass female badass women chopping people up with swords. I see swords and stuff like that. So, I'm like, yeah. Very cool. It's really action-packed looking. And so, I had to get that one in my collection. And then, this one, I do have some wrestling stuff that I'm selling. I don't want. But when I found this one and they, they, they sold this to me for a dollar, I was like, what? She's like, how much is a set? You know, I said, I'll just give it to you for a dollar. Oh, thank you. It's, uh, it's ECW unreleased three disc set ECW stuff. All ECW, my favorite. Extreme Championship Wrestling. So you got Tommy Dreamer right there, and you got Taz. And, oh, my God. When I opened this up, I was like, what? Um, these are the ones, like, you got to open the disc a little bit to check out what kind of shows or what kind of matches are here. Like, Shane Douglas versus Colt Scorpio. Tommy Dreamer versus Raven. Dean Malenko. Oh, my God. Some classic Dean Malenko's right there. What's on this disc? This disc has this disc this disc this disc has Rob Van Dam versus and Sabu versus the Eliminators, Sabu versus Taz, what and all kinds of different extras and stuff like that. It's got the ECW Championship match: Shane Douglas versus Taz, Rob Van Dam versus Jerry Lynn. Amazing, uh, uh amazing matches from them. Rob Van Dam and Jerry Lynn. They, those guys are awesome. I don't know what happened to Jerry Lynn. I don't know what happened to Rob Van Dam. He is smoking a lot of pot because he's sore. Okay. So this is a this is a cool find. This is really a cool find. ECW unreleased. This is this is a keeper. This is definitely a keeper. So that's the haul for this video. Thank you for tuning in, checking it out. Uh, again. Don't forget to like and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Tell your friends about me. And um, hit that bell notification so you can get all the latest updates and videos and contents that I upload on this channel. That's it for me. Aloha. <sighs> Fat guy breathing. <sighs> Fat guy breathing. I've been breathing throughout the whole video, right? Just listen. You can go back and edit it together. <sighs> Come out of here.